Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Second part to this video on LED lighting. Uh, it's gonna be um, for like an RV storage. It's kind of the video from my SEO guy will be what's the expectation on how bright this should be. Uh, ceilings are about 18 foot tall. Um, and then we ran up the power to about eight foot uh, based upon the fact that they're gonna build um, a platform above here. And also did they wanted more light down low to shoot sideways. These are 4,000 Kelvin. So it's not too bright white, but yet not too yellow. Um, it's nice because it's getting dark out outside right now at 7 o'clock here. Uh, the date is about September 2020. So second part to this video, I showed you the skeleton roughed in. Oh, and that's the motion light, guys. Sorry. That thing has been doing this all day. I would take that thing out in a minute. Um... Okay, so we ended up just adding three circuits here. And that was already there, circuit five, but we divided it up. So here's circuit seven. And I kind of like how I, I pulled that, that uh, power. Because that outlet and this are with it. So power stays on once that switch is on. And then this is going to be circuit nine over here. I have the switch in the on position. The power and plugs are together over there. And then west wall over here is 11. So that's what to anticipate for your lighting. So all we had was three LEDs above. Those are actually pretty impressive, but you can see at night how bleak that is if you're trying to load and do stuff. And one of our customers is in his 60s, he said. So you can see how this light will really help him. And being up high is okay but it drowns out. So I kind of like the idea of putting lights this way. It's kind of like a, a paint booth, if you will, but they're not painting in here. It's just storage. Um, but it gave a lot more light. And so we kind of divided up the switches, which was nice if they're on this side of the wall and they need to load in the RV. Um, versus those two went off, just they decided they didn't need anything else on. And then when you walk in, these two things will turn on. So, Final video, yeah, so we had quite a bit of wire. Some some pipes were just pulled three wire and others were pulling seven, eight. Uh, just depends on how we were bringing in the circuits as well as me reminding you, line in on GFI and load out. So for example, circuit 11 does really start here with two wires in line and that was gonna be gray and blue. And then out, we did black and white for load. And then also not mixing up the fact that you're neutral has to be on the load side of that GFI since you're sharing it and not on the line side pigtail. Otherwise the circuit will trip as soon as you hit the switch. So yeah, that turned out really well. That was a full day for us, a really long day. Um, but we came in here with just pipe and wire and boxes and fittings and uh, it turned out well. We lasered everything like the other video showed you, kept it all right at eight and a half foot like he asked for his platform. And then later we'll tap out of there and go up and get some more lights around for him once his platform decides to go up there if he needs more light and power. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.